Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for December 21st. Is anybody cold? <laughs> Good. Uh, so, uh, first of all, we have the introduction of our new deputy town manager. To do that introduction, we turn it over to our excellent town manager, Mr. Adam Chapdelaine. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so as the board knows, uh, we have hired a, a new deputy town manager, uh, Mr. Sandy Pooler. And I think I had mentioned to the board at a prior meeting that we would, uh, before he uh, actually starts, come and have him uh, have an opportunity to meet the board. Um, currently, the schedule is for Sandy to start uh, on January 25th. What he doesn't know is when he's here tonight, I'm never going to let him leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that said, uh, you know, very happy to have Sandy coming to become part of the Arlington team. Uh, most recently, he's been serving for the past five years as the finance director in Amherst. Before that, uh, he spent the better part of a decade, I believe, working for the city of Newton in several roles under Mayor Cohen's leadership. Uh, and he's got a great background. He's well regarded throughout sort of the municipal finance industry. Uh, so without any further ado, Sandy. So everybody at home can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very much looking forward to the chance to work for the town of Arlington, uh, work with Adam and with all of you. Uh, as Adam said, I've been doing municipal finance for uh, many years now, and uh, I've really come to love it. Uh, I am a little bit of a nerd that way. I like to play with the spreadsheets and, uh, but, and, and make them all balanced, which is very important. Uh, so. Uh, I hope to bring uh, my experience both from um, Newton and Amherst, which were two very well-run communities, to Arlington, which I know is a well-run community, um, and to build on the things that you've already done here, uh, your balanced budgets, your long-term financial planning, and your transparency are things that I, I know are hallmarks of the town, and uh, I'll do what I can to continue those. Um, so I thank you for this opportunity, and I look forward to working with all of you. Uh, Sandy, let me ask, have you already noticed the tremendous leadership in this town? Uh, have you picked up on that already? Or? I, I, I have. It's forward thinking, it's progressive, and uh, it, Young it, it's and measured. Too, if you want to <laughs> but you know, um, I, one of the things I really admire already about Sandy is uh, we would have loved for him to have started yesterday. Um, excellent former deputy who's now the town manager up in Andover. But uh, uh, Sandy felt, if, if this is okay if I yeah, say this, yeah. Adam, he wanted to continue and make sure that he uh, finished the budget cycle uh, in Amherst. And so he delayed starting here. And I think that's uh, quite a tribute to you that uh, you wouldn't leave the town in the lurch. And uh, we tingle with anticipation, though, for that January day when you get started here full time. Well, me too. Thank you very much. Colleagues? Dan? Uh, of course, I'm sure everyone, you know this, but other people may not. Your first day is our special town meeting. <laughs> so <laughs> that is fire. just absolutely the right way to start. Um, and so I gather you're a member of the bar. I am, I'm yes. curious, tell, like, uh, uh, tell me about your career path. That you're a member of the bar and doing finance. Well, uh, when I came out of law school, I uh, really toyed with what kind of law to, to practice. In fact, I'd accepted a position at the largest law firm in Washington, D.C. at one point. But then a judicial clerkship came along and it gave me some time to really think about my priorities and my values. And so I turned down that job and went to work in the Massachusetts legislature, where I worked for eight years. Um, doing a lot of policy <coughs> stuff, a lot of legal work. Uh, at the end of that eight years, the guy I worked for, David Cohen, who was a state rep at the time, decided to run for mayor. And I took a year and went to the Kennedy School and got a master's in public administration because I'd seen how much budget decisions really affect policy. I mean, uh, the, the power is where the money is when you get right down to it. Um, so from there, I started doing budgeting, which, of course, is more than just numbers. It is policy together. Um, and I found that a really rewarding thing to do and have kept w w with it ever since. So I think the law background has been helpful to understand complex issues. Um, I never intended to be a, a Perry Mason. Uh, I've always had an interest in public policy. I started my career after college doing public interest work. So I think it's all sort of fit in. 
Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Joe? Well, thank you very much, and, and welcome. Uh, did Adam tell you your first job is to fix the heat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Energy conservation is a really good thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see you did it. You initiated a program to convert uh, buildings uh, to, uh, to gas and save save funds in uh, Newton. So uh, that's a half half serious observation. I also see that you you had ex experience with uh, high school uh, rebuilds. So um, we have a lot of balls <coughs> in the air financially right now. So I was really impressed with your resume. We're, I think we're all just looking forward to you coming on board and, and uh, getting to work. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Byrne. Thank you, uh, Mr. Greeley, and, and thank you, Sandy, for um, being here. Actually, as a, a current employee of the legislature, I certainly appreciate your time there. Um, and, you know, I, I think, as you know, um, through your interview process, you're really joining a great team and one that's um, really done a tremendous job here in town. And um, I'm sure you'll be an asset to it and kind of build off the great work that's been done. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. And Mrs. Mahan is sick that she couldn't, no, she's not sick. She's sorry she couldn't be here because the cross-examination from her would have, <laughs> would have changed her life, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. But she's unfortunately late. But on behalf of Ms. Mahan and this board, uh, really, we look forward to working with you. As Stephen says, uh, Adam, uh, Doug, uh, Marie, we just have a really superb team. And uh, you will be a great addition to it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank thank you. You. Thanks, Andy. Speaking of great additions to this town, next we want to talk about the scenic byway with the former chairman and member of this board, Clarissa Rowe, and our director of development, Ted Fields. Clarissa. Hello, gentlemen. We will be very brief. I believe you've reviewed in detail the handout that we've given you, and we're here for some really preliminary um, approval for us to go work. We have to work with MassDOT, who are really in charge of signs, and Ted is holding the size of the signs that we will be. Eventually, if we get MassDOT's permission, they would like the signs to be brown, we understand. We would like red, white, and blue, but, you know, we have to get their permission because it's on their roadways. So uh, we wanted to show you this. This is um, not quite the right color or the right proportion. If you look in your packet, you'll see what it's really going to look like. But I think this would be um, very eye-catching. And the idea is to have them in all four towns. So it would be in Arlington, Lexington, Lincoln, and Concord, which is where the Scenic Byway went. We um, are one of the gateways of the Scenic Byway, and it will um, start on the Cambridge-Arlington line. So there are many, many steps in this process, but we had asked the town people for $5,000 to do the graphic design, and it was done by an Arlington company, Selbert um, Perkins, and I think they did a great job. And so we're just giving you an update, and eventually you may have some of these signs. And the colors will eventually match much more closely to the colors you see in your packet. These came out. Yeah, Mr. Dunn? I love the design. I move approval of the preliminary design. I'll second that. Second. Further discussion, Mr. Dunn? Mr. Kiro? Uh, I, I love it, too. Um, I think it, it, it speaks to what the Battle Road Byway is. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I was traveling the Mohawk Trail Scenic Byway yesterday. Their signs are not brown. They have colors, yes. color palettes. So I think you've got a good case yeah. to make. I'm looking at some of the applications here, and I'm, I'm thinking of one particularly active member of, of ATED who I'm sure can't wait to be selling these things out of our visitor's booth. <laughs> <laughs> right. exactly. So thank you for all the work on this. Great. Mr. Thank you. They look great. So uh, if I may, just a couple questions. So uh, we're approving it for the other three towns as well? No, just for Arlington. Oh, just for Arlington. Um, Arlington and Lexington are being very proactive. Um, Concord and Lincoln are much more careful about their signs. And they have not, this year they did not appropriate the $5,000 that we in Lexington did. So we get to go first mm -hmm. and then we hope they will follow. But they're sign phobic. Mm. We are, <laughs> we're sort of the opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> There'll be a letter in next week's packet, I'm sure. I'm sure. 
<laughs> we can but put can a U-turn I, sign up and just say, come back to Arlington right, at the end. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, can I just, um, the, as a colorblind person, I can't see the red. I know there's an image in there. Yes. Um, it's the image of Paul Revere. Right. I can see that clearly yeah. there. And, but just, I, just so you, I mean, I, I, you know, there's a lot of men that are red, green, colorblind. I don't right. know uh, right. whether or not, but I love them. They're beautiful. But. Great. Well, it's good you're not in charge of the graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> Out of order. <laughs> I'm going home tonight to work on. <laughs> no, I love those. They look great. Thank you for the great Thank work you, you all Thanks done. so much. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion by Mr. Dunn, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Thank you both. Thank you. 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 Thank I, I apologize, uh, Marie, and everybody else. I had found something in the minutes, and then I forgot to follow up on it. Uh, under item nine, under the Minuteman Regional Agreement, we actually took a vote under there, I believe, which was to approve the regional agreement uh, in in principle. And I think we've. And I, I apologize, Marie. I forgot to call you up today and, and ask you about that. So it's item nine. Yep. Okay. So how would you like it to read? Um, I just said, like, I think just we should record that there was a, the vote was taken uh, to support the um, updated regional agreement draft. So just so voted five zero would work. Yeah. That's fine. I think we did on that day. It, it we did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll check it. I apologize for not doing it earlier. And also under the consent agenda, there's the transportation advisory committee, uh, Melissa. Laub, I hope I'm saying that, and Scott Smith. Uh, comments, discussion? Yes, Mr. I just, I just wanted to note that I also had forwarded a comment on the minutes to, to the office, um, I think, last night, um, just regarding the air noise, just clarifying that, that uh, requests were actually to the FAA and Massport, not from them to, to the CAC. Okay. Thank you. All right, so um, the, on, on Mr. Did somebody make a motion? Hey. Okay. Second. So move approval subject to the two uh, addendums to the uh, minutes of December 7th and the two reappointments. Mm -hmm. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Licenses and permits. This time of year, we do the license renewals for contractor, drain layers, wine and malt beverages, only restaurants, all alcohol restaurant, all alcohol club, all alcohol package stores, theater licenses, common victuallers, food vendor, class one, class two, class two non-premise auctioneer, lodging houses, innkeepers, public entertainment, automatic amusement, and secondhand dealer. Is there a motion? I move approval of the list as prepared by our office. Second. And is there a second? Okay, and these are all these licenses are re routinely uh, looked at by the board. So even though we're doing a mass uh, renewal here, um, they are watched throughout the year. Uh, so moved and seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Next up is a request for a common victualler license from a long established business in this town, the Villa House of Pizza. Uh, and Mr. Hurd. Good evening. John Hurd, I'm here representing my clients. Yeshuda Podal and Krishna Kumar Khatri. They're of Ram Lao Shanti Group LLC. They are purchasing Villa House of Pizza from Mr. Andreas Dennis. They've, as you know, has been in business in the town for a while. It's a well-established, wonderful business. I'm sure everyone frequents it. A pretty good amount. Mm -hmm. My clients have been in and out of the restaurant business business for a few years, but it's their intention to continue to operate the business just as it currently runs. Same outfit, same vendors, same menu, as everyone that I've talked to has been concerned same about. Pizzas. And even some some of the same same staff. So Excellent. all right. Thank you. Discussion, comments? Move approval. Move approval. Is there a second? Second. Second. Discussion? Samples of food? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not required. It's not required. I'll be at the next meeting. <laughs> and you can look at me. You know, I've had quite a few pizzas and subs out there. So um, I like the tenders. The tenders as yeah. well. But 
Thank you both for all of these years and wishing you both the best of luck and thank you for choosing Arlington and especially such a great business to take over. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Also smart, the council you chose, by the way. So. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, a request by Tango Restaurant for late night entertainment on New Year's Eve. Hi. How you doing? Good, how uh, you yeah, doing? we're just looking to be able to stay open till one so that we can have our customers um, enjoy bringing the new year with us. Okay. All right. And uh, last call would be at what time? 1230. Okay. Yep. Mr. Dunn? Uh, are you serving food the whole way through? Uh, yeah, we'll probably serve until midnight. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, so did you move that? I haven't yet. No. Oh. Okay, I'll comments, questions, yep. Move it. Move approval. Yep. Okay, second. Uh, I'll second. Uh, would you consider conserv serving food until 1230? Um, sure, yeah. I mean, if there's, if there's a need for it and people are still coming in and want to consume, I mean, absolutely. It's just usually at that time, mm. it's kind of, uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> they're kind of done with the food. But, um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I think if even there's, um, you know, appetizers being offered I think that would go a long way for yeah our, yeah we I mean we have a approval right we have a set menu and uh, for the dining room but then for the bar we'll have appetizers so we'll probably offer that you know throughout the whole night awesome Thank right because two drinks can be served without food but right if anybody there is having a third drink that has to be with food yeah so. mm -hmm. yeah I mean, most of our customers are they come there to eat <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so moved and seconded. Yo, Mr. Dunn? Just one brief comment. As you know, this is a sensitive issue for us because of uh, last year's New Year's. Yep. So take extra care. I will. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Any questions for us, Alyssa? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> you did a wonderful job. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. aye all those opposed. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll second. So. Uh, Adam, uh, transfer CDBG funds. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so this request comes from Vision 2020, and as the board may remember, I believe at the last meeting, if not the meeting before, uh, the board voted to reallocate a portion of what had been allocated to a zoning reclassification, reco uh, recodification study that won't be pr uh, pursued in this funding year. See you, Charlie. Uh, Take care. Sorry. I'm, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that transfer uh, that the board voted on left a balance in that account of $17,000. Uh, this request here is coming again from Vision 2020. Uh, as you know, the annual town survey goes out every year. The software that they've been using still was, was quite labor intensive. So under the new chairmanship of Julie Brazil, working with the Vision 2020 committee, they've identified a new scanning software uh, to uh, help with the processing from both town, town staff and volunteers. Uh, so the request tonight is for the board to transfer uh, $3,105 from the CDBG planning account to allow Vision 2020. Uh, to purchase that software. Okay. Is there a motion? Approval. Approval. Second. And second, discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Marie, can, do you have texting on your phone? I do. I'm wondering if we should text Diane whether she forgot it starts at 6. Sorry. Let me go back. All right, sorry, if you don't mind. Although you're missing Adam's debt shift discussion, but more for the Mr. Chapterlin. Um, sorry, <laughs> thinking about getting it, getting it right in the minutes. Uh, so th this is a vote that actually uh, we should have included during the tax rate setting process. Uh, annually, when the board sets the tax rate, uh, we also should be asking the board to formally vote to shift what has been that frozen amount, $5,593,112 off and off the water sewer enterprise fund onto the tax rate to service MWRA debt. So I would ask the board tonight is to take a simple vote to agree to shift that $5.5 million figure to the tax rate. We'll then document that, send it off to DOR, and there's no, there's nothing being held up, but getting it on the books was an important thing to do. Sandy, see, if you had been here, this never would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a motion? So moves. So moves. Second. Second. Discussion questions, Mr. Dunn? Uh, so I know in the past we've hesitated. So when I first was elected, one of the things I was hoping to do was to reduce the amount that's on this shift. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons we didn't do it was because uh, the water rates were going up so much. Mm -hmm. There just was, there's a lot of pressure on the water rates already, and we didn't want to put more. 
now that we are seeing a little bit less pressure on the water rates, um, I'm probably going to be interested in us taking another look at this uh, ne next year. Yep, I think that's that's probably now given where we've come, that's probably a time to start looking at whether or not we want to okay. shave down. I'm definitely leaning that direction, though. I'm supporting the motion tonight for sure. That's good to know. Okay. Joe or Steve, anything else? Nope. nope. Uh, move by Dan, second by Joe. Yep. Yes. Yep. I did you move it? Uh, yeah, um. Why don't we discuss this? <laughs> Everybody's suffering. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna. Make, oh, Marie. I'll tell Marie when she comes back that on a brilliantly moved motion by Mr. Dunn and seconded by Mr. Byrne and re-seconded by Mr. Curo. <laughs> we, the answer, we have voted all those in favor. Please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. <coughs> so um, the, the, uh, uh, Dan moved approval, seconded by Steve uh, on the water debt shift. Doug? Doug I, stepped I, in. I, he stepped in. He took notes. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, did I say something wrong? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. And next up, Mr. Chapdelaine. Thank you, Mr. On Chairman. The municipal partnership in terms of the transportation for Mass. So I was contacted by uh, Transportation for Massachusetts there, a nonprofit coalition focused on improving transportation infrastructure in the Commonwealth. Uh, and I was actually contacted by a member of the Natick Board of Selectmen who professionally works for uh, what they call T4MA. Uh, and they've started a municipal partnership program. There's no cost to the community. There's really no uh, even request for in-kind services. I just think it builds a solidarity around their coalition in advocating for a modern 21st century transportation system. So in the memo I provided to the board, as well as in the supplementary uh, information, it sort of lays out um, their five guiding principles that, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll read out for those uh, you know, watching at home. Uh, the principles they adhere to and would ask the you know joining towns to consider adhering to are our transportation system is a vital part of our economy providing economic opportunity and ensuring everyone can get where they need to go number two massachusetts needs a transportation network that offers safe affordable and convenient choices to residents and businesses including public transportation sidewalks and bikeways number three people without cars including youth seniors and low-income residents should have the opportunity to get to the schools and jobs that will help them pursue their dreams. Number four, transportation investments should enhance mobility, expand economic opportunity, reduce pollution and greenhouse gases, and support healthy, sustainable communities. And number five, public stewards of transportation funds should be held accountable for wise, fair, and transparent use of public dollars. So as I said in the memo I provided to the board, I think generally speaking, these are all principles that this board is committed to via its goal setting process and that the town uh, also through town meeting um, endorsed via the master plan uh, at last town meeting. So I, I see this as a bit of a, a no brainer to support this, uh, this coalition um, for us to sign on. And with the board of votes favorably tonight, I'll simply fill out their online municipal partner application. And Arlington's name will show up as a supporter of T4MA. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Curo. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to move approval. Mm -hmm. I have a comment. Oh. I Please. Yeah, a second. 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 Um, yeah, I, I think this is timely, especially given that uh, a few meetings ago we, we voted um, for the support for the Green Line extension. Now that it's in the balance, yeah. I think this is a, a small way to kind of underline that support again. I'd also note, I, I assume it's Mr. Osteroff who it is. Yep. contacted you. And he's, he's not only a selectman, but I think he uh, was, or, or maybe he still is the uh, uh, president of the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association. Yeah, I think he's immediate past immediate president. Immediate past right. president, I believe. So he certainly understands um, how these issues affect uh, local uh, communities. So happy to support it. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was going to ask that question. In any way, does this help us with the expansion of the Green Line? You know, I, I think it just aligns us with people who are interested in keeping it on track. <clears throat> okay. All righty. All those uh, in favor of the motion by Mr. Curo, seconded by Mr. Byrne, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Marie, any luck? Or? No, I texted her. I heard no answer. I, okay. yeah. I mean, I, you know. This is not the normal meeting time, I understand, but. So the uh, next item is for discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Board of Selectmen Handbook. 
So, well, please, I deserve <laughs> the least amount of credit. Mr. Byrne deserves a great deal of credit. Certainly, Mr. Heim deserves a great deal of credit. Marianne and Eve, uh, from Adam, Eve from Adam's office, and Marianne from our office, believe me, they did the bulk of this work. So uh, we would remind you this is two parts. This is the handbook, and then the full policies, and the rest would, would be in a second section. But what we're asking, if possible, is if you would take this home, and over the holidays, if you would, whether there's typos, whether there's um, uh, grammatical issues, or you know, solid changes, or something you feel we need to add or delete, I'd like to ask each member of this board, if you could, by January 6th, send an email outlining uh, you know, changes, there are pages are numbered, um, outlining, you know, if you have one, two, three, five, ten, uh, send those to Marianne, who will then put them all together. And at our, uh, the goal is at our meeting on January 11th to approve this uh, in a final form with any amendments that may or may not be necessary. Uh, is that agreeable to everybody? Okay. Absolutely. So, really, uh, I'm, I'm amazed how long it took us, but I think how important to document this is, uh, you know, and to realize that there's been 91 people since 1867 that have sat in these seats. Uh, we, we, we need to go to Cambridge to get the records for the West Cambridge uh, years before then. <laughs> and early on, it kind of varied between um, some had three, sometimes nine, so. Uh, but for us, really, 1867 on from the time we became Arlington, um, 91 people have, uh, have sat here. And we look forward to 91 more. <coughs> Questions, <coughs> comments? I, I have one comment, actually. And um, I, I think I know Mr. Greeley is uh, quite modest in his work, but you'll see the history part, and that's uh, a part that he wrote up himself. And I'm sure it, it is. Uh, the most informative part um, and enjoyable to read, all due to our great chairman. Well, I had three more paragraphs on me, but I, 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 I turned it over to Steve, and the bum did not include it, or maybe by January he'll recommend that. No, but thank you, Steve. It's, uh, it was a labor of love and hate. Uh, but really, Doug. Really, Doug wrote everything, you know, basically for us, and Marianne and Eve just did so much in terms of uh, including everything Steve and I. You know, we had, I'd say, bi-weekly meetings, and a section at a time we'd go through, and I'd have suggestions, Steve would have suggestions, and they'd rework it, so I think it's pretty close. <laughs> As an example, I think we went through seven pictures before we chose that one. We just couldn't find one where the selectmen's chambers didn't have trees or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but we tried anyhow. Okay, and we're all set. With, is that, is that reasonable in terms Definitely. of getting, because you, you really have read all of this as we've gone along, but this is, uh, this is the whole thing finally put together. So under new business, Mrs. Kripelka. God bless. <coughs> Mr. Hine. Nothing, sir. Um, uh, and Doug, our condolences for your recent loss. And, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for extraordinary efforts while you've lived through all of that as well. Mr. Chapter Lane. One brief piece of new business. I notified the board earlier today via email that Eileen Messina, the administrative assistant in my office, uh, towards the end of next month, uh, we'll, we'll start a transition. She'll be going over to become the facilities department's new administrative assistant. So. Big sort of big loss, but also very happy for Eileen in pursuing a little bit of a change of scenery and a new challenge. And I know she'll do very well by the new department. So I'll be posting internally first for the uh, position in my office, and we'll we'll keep things moving. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Byrne. No new business, Mr. Dunn. Theoretically, in the last 30 minutes, the Minuteman School Committee has met and voted to approve a new regional agreement to send to the towns. I'm very interested to hear whether or not they approved a bond at the same time. Separately, this morning, the Long Range Planning Committee met and uh, the school department made a case for additional funds for the growing student population they have. And the, uh, the size of the problem is 
was much bigger than I anticipated. And uh, it would, it really changes the long-term plan dramatically. Uh, so it's, uh, I mean, there's still, it, it, it's not a, an accepted thing, but the proposal that they're making is, uh, it's gonna be big. Okay, so we'll look forward to that fight. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anything else, Dan? No, that's it. Thank you. Mr. Kiro. No, no business. So, uh, you know, I would just like, we have on our desk, um, and I'm sure this is available, the ACMI annual report, uh, another great year. I'd like to uh, thank ACMI for the coverage they give to this meeting and all the public meetings, and also uh, thank the advocate for your coverage as well. Uh, and to all Arlingtonians on behalf of this board, we want to wish you... Um, uh, happy Holidays, Hanukkah, if you celebrated that, Kwanzaa, and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The next meeting of this board will be on January 11th. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Is there a second? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Merry Christmas, everybody.